We're going to start off with day three of the trial, Rachel. That's right. Yes, witness testimony continues in the Greg Leone murder trial. Today, jurors heard about a South Carolina law enforcement division investigation years after the murder. It involves an informant, the victim's roommate, and an employee of one of Leone's restaurants. News 19 Sam Perez has been in the courtroom all day, and she has the latest now on the trial. On Thursday, we heard recorded conversations that the prosecution argues is evidence that the defendant was involved with witness tampering. Each juror got a copy of a transcription translated from Spanish to English by the FBI. The conversation is between two women, Maria and Ruby, and a man on the phone who they call Goyo. Ruby was wearing a wire with South Carolina Law Enforcement Division investigators listening. Agent Philip Turner testifies the woman referred to Goyo, a nickname for Gregario, the defendant's full name. Turner and defense attorney Rick Hubbard broke down the transcription where Maria and Goyo asked Ruby to make a false statement to Leon's attorney. They asked her to say that the murder victim, Arturo Bravo Santos, was a leader of a dangerous gang, a violent rapist, and a pedophile. If Ruby did this, Goyo would give her money and would help her get a visa. When Ruby followed direction, she got $500 from Goyo, which Turner testifies she turned in to the SLED agents who were listening in. Turner read that transcription out loud, and then a portion of the recorded video was played in court. We'll have more details when you join us on News 19 at 6. Reporting in Lexington County, Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. Sam, thank you so much. During cross-examination, defense attorney Jack Swirling questioned whether it was Maria or Goyo who was instructing Ruby on specifics of the false statements she was supposed to give to Leon's attorneys. Turner says it was mainly Maria. The defense also emphasized the recording only talked about a statement to attorneys not to be used during a sworn testimony in court. Swirling pointed out that Goyo said he could not guarantee any type of compensation.